Attention. So let's get back to the start. Go. In Britannia next. City of Oxford Rowing Club on the Berkshire Station. Nottingham Rowing Club on the Buck Station to the right of your picture. It looks like City of Oxford with the first couple of strokes got out very keenly. Yeah, he's experiencing both these crews, many Henny regattas for all these men and the coxswains as well. Three three regattas each, so very used to sitting on this start line here. Nottingham Rowing Club on the Berkshire side. You can see they've just had the slightly quicker, higher start, um, but City of Oxford there as well, right up there on the higher side. Um, great racing to the end of the island. I think this could be a good one, a really good tussle coming up, a good battle because City of Oxford and Nottingham Rowing Club there, there's absolutely nothing between them and uh, we've had the start and both of these crews will know they're in for a, a really big race and the Coxes will be aware as well, you can see the Coxes there, they glance over the shoulder to see where they are and just as we head off away from Temple Island, Nottingham Rowing Club turning on the turbo and getting up to quarter of a length, half a length. Yeah, if we have a look there, the, the Nottingham crew, you can see um, just getting that nice bit of length, the two man taking that time over the twos and they're just over the feet and just picking it up. And this is where you'll see um, this crew making their move. The city of Oxford slightly higher still there, working a bucket rig two of their blades on one side in the middle of the boat and really nice to watch actually you can see how cleanly they're they're rowing that work but they're a little bit higher at the moment and it is the standard rig of nottingham that is um just more efficient just more effective at the moment and you can see they're just getting about two or three um uh, inches of stroke nottingham rowing club i've run past there down there on the trent near the uh, near the football ground there City football ground. I learned from David Wooten at the start yesterday that near Nottingham Rowing Club, that's the only place in the country that a railway line crosses perpendicular. Is that right? Apparently. I'll look out for that. I'm up in Nottingham in a few weeks' time. It wakes him up every time he goes over the points, and he looks, and you can see another railway going pointly, perfectly straight underneath you. The things you learn when you're sitting in the start box. That's good. City of Oxford. Uh, right hand side of your picture it's a good race here in the Britannia Britannia Challenge Cup Molsey won it last time out back in 2019 7 minutes and 1 second it took Molsey to wrap up the final on the Sunday in 2019 men's fours with Cox's club crews only at Nottingham against City of Oxford and it's interesting in these boats, City of Oxford man William Mahoney, he has also placed second in the 2018 British Coastal Championships. And it's um, obviously rowing, we're, we're used to 2,000 metre racing, 2,112 metres here. But of course, coastal rowing is something that's becoming more and more um, uh, of interest. Coastal rowing championships are now several years old, and I, I suspect we will seeing them as part of the Olympic program in the future. That was going to be my next question. Have we got confirmation that we're going to see it in the Olympics at some point? Because there's always this conversation about coastal rowing. I don't think it's happening for Paris in three years' time, but Los Angeles in 2028? Well, LA, they're right by the, the sea. If they you're are. going to start it somewhere. Pacific Ocean, here we come. <laughs> We could maybe commentate on it. I think so. I think we are available for that. If anybody uh, wants to send us out there for that, we uh, could make the trip, couldn't we? I've got a spot in my diary clear in 2028 for Los Angeles. Now here we go. Let's just really concentrate. Get us back from the beach in the LA, back onto the water here away, at yeah. Henley. It's slightly. Um, even the, the clouds have come down a little bit more. It's almost a little bit misty. There's a bit of drizzle as we look down, but there's lightning on the red water up here. It is a fantastic race. So, just watching City of Oxford against Nottingham in the Britannia, and at the moment it's Nottingham closest to the camera to the left-hand side, who lead by probably a quarter of a length, no more than that, against City of Oxford. And they are in front of... They are starting to move in front of the enclosures now. This is plenty more racing to be done, very unpredictable at this stage, what's going to happen in the next few hundred metres. Yeah, they do look relaxed and long in that city of 
and in that Nottingham Rowing Club boat, it looks great to be able to see that they're pushing on. And we've just made a move, and um, again, interestingly, on the Buckingham side at that stage, um, as they come into the enclosure, I think they have started just to go off a rate, moving towards the finish to make sure they move away from City of Oxford. A lot of experience in that. We've got um, junior world um, athlete uh, Matt Swiss in the number two seat of that City of Oxford boat. Um, and he will have had lots and lots of experience of racing um, at the moment, though, coming out second in this heat. Talking of experience, Eddie Allen, you can see there the Cox for Nottingham. She's fourth Henry Raw Regatta. He's only 21 years old. And the Cox there, you can see. He's won three American football UK national championships before taking up coxing. I think that's a rare double to be uh, an American football champion and become a Cox after that and then compete at this level. That's a steady CV, that. Yeah, I might want to get Mr Google to check that one. That's what he says. Graduated at Loughborough University in aeronautical engineering. And there we are looking at the American footballer <laughs> stroke change Cox there, uh, his sunglasses just on his head, not needed in these conditions, just looking over there in this front loader and um, yellow boat that we're looking here. Semple Parker, Bennett and Dolman. James Dolman's fourth heavy war regatta as well. He's been knocked out by German cruiser James Dolman in his previous three more regattas in the first round. Three attempts, Thames, Weifold and Britannia. He's been knocked out by German crews, all three of them. Can we have some German crews? We're looking at later today. The international crew, um, entry we know usually is a little bit larger. Amazingly, 41 in this um, particular year. And so less foreign crews, and that they will be coming up again, um, but not now. Final few strokes, you could hear the shout from the Cox, the push for the line now, and it will be Nottingham Rowing Club, who lead home City of Oxford Rowing Club, but not by much. Again, a good race in the middle stage. We said halfway down the course, it was unpredictable. As it's turned out, Nottingham Rowing Club winning City of Oxford Rowing Club out in the Britannia.